Hello and welcome to Tech 18. I am Ahmad Adnan and in this video we are going to discuss about how to search the images inside Power BI. If you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed it, just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications. Now let's get started. So the problem is display images in Power BI report. So this is simple actually right, you can use the URL as a base to display the images. But here the thing is, you don't have a URL. If you have a URL, that's totally fine. And if you want to get the URL dynamically, how that's possible. That's what we are going to discuss in this video. And to do that, the required license which you need is Power BI license and then Azure Bing search. So you need to search in Azure using the keyword which is available on your data table and then it will bring the URL dynamically and you can display that image here. How cool it is, right? So let's dig into that. So before to that, you just need to create the resource in the Azure for Bing research. So for Bing search, so let's go into the Azure portal. So I am into my Azure here. So if you need to create a new resource, you just need to click on our search here on the top Bing search. So here it will give you the option of Bing resources. If I click on that, it will open up a new window about which I have already created here. So you, if you need to create, you just need to click on add and then Bing search. And here you need to give it a name and then subscription of this one and the pricing tier. So if you look at this pricing tier, so here they have free subscriptions and then 250 calls. This I have already taken out here and then 150 calls, something like that. So these are the plans which they have for Azure sub Bing search subscriptions. And here you need to select the resource group as usual and then click on create. So this is how you can create a resource and this is the one which I have already created here. And this is the home screen of this one where you can see all the other informations here. So the pricing tier which I have taken here is a free one. I can make use of that. So if I click on the click on the manage keys, so it just gives me the information about which I need the keys which I need to use in my search time and then the endpoint which I need to use and the location of this one. All right. So if I go back to this one, we have all set up here. Now let's go to Power BI how we need to do that. So basically, if I go to my Power BI desktop here, not this one. If you don't know about how we need to search the images with the API keys. I have made a separate video on the previous link about how we need to use the web API in Power BI. Please go and check out that video for detail, for detail information. So here if I go to transform data on this file. So now what I have done here is basically I just created a parameter here. It's the usual parameters and hope you are aware of the parameter setting here. If you don't know about these parameter settings, I have made a separate video on that. Please go and check out that video. Here I just created a parameter which basically shows about the information of what is the key which we need to pass. That's it. And here if I go to step by step here on this one, I just use and uh, let me just open up this window. As you can see, this is the web API which I used here, https slash slash apis.bingmicrosoft.com and then image and then search and then q equal to, this is the parameter which I'm passing it here. So that's the beauty of this one, the connecting web connection, we can split our web address into multiple sections and we can also pass parameters how we need for. So here I'm just using it as a search functions and then using it for search for which is the parameter which I'm going to pass here and if we want to pass any additional thing which also is possible here and here this is the overall view of the search address here and open the file as JSON and, and everything here and that's it and if you do so it just returns this information about the detail here and after that it converts into a table automatically and then it expands into the section here also automatically and expand also the query context. Until this step, it has done automatically by Power Query itself. And after that, what I did is I just need the value from this value column. If I click on that, it has a multiple records. 
So Bing has search based on the keyword multiple records. I just need the value. So I just kept only the value column here and then remove everything. And after that, I clicked on this one and expand the values here. Or as you can also click on the list here, it just expand those values here. So there are 35 search records which it has generated. I just need the first record. It doesn't matter how many records it has fetched. So I just need to click on the first link and it has automatically smart enough to create this as a zero, which means it has taken the first value of this one. Now this has given all the metadata information about the image here. So basically I just need the content URL. That's the key thing which I need. So here after that, I'm converting this list into a table. So it's a table and now I'm filtering this into uh, just to filter it out content URL alone. And finally, I'm converting this table into a list. So here, if we just go to this, how I have done here in the transform data, convert to list option. We have it here on the top, transform, convert to list. So if I, if I done that, it just brings the only one record of that search, which is the top first search. And then what I did, I just converted this into a function, right click this here, create a function. This is the function which it has here. So I made a separate video on the create functions in Power BI, in Power Query. If you haven't seen that, please don't check out that video as well. So here for an example, I just use the red rose, right? So if you want to add any kind of player, for an example of Suresh Raina, and then click on invoke it just creates a value of Suresh Raina and you can see this image of Suresh Raina will be there. So this is how you can able to do that. But if you want to do a kind of search dynamically in this case, what will happen? So let's say for an example, I have this fact table. For example, here I've just added a few names, which is uh, India, YouTube, Burj Khalifa and then MS Dhoni, Indian flag and then apply button. So different, different things here. So after that, what I have done here, I just click on add columns and then invoke function. So if I click on that, it just open up a window here. Here, I just need to give the column name. And here I just need to call the function which I've created, which is the name of search function. And what is the parameter which I'm going to pass to that function is the name of this column. And click on okay. So it has extracted those values for me. And then, so this is how it will look like. And after that, I need to click on this small button on the top and then click on extract values. So if I click on that, it has extracted me the top single values on this one and the change type it has done automatically. So let's say for now, for an example, if I click on this one and I'm going to add something else like red rose, I'm going to add this one and click on OK and home, apply and close. So this is a fact table. Let's go to Power BI Desktop. This is the one, but story is not enough here. You just need to do one more thing, which is the main thing in order to view the URL. I hope you got the point what I'm talking about. Let's see. As we are using the free version of Bing search, so it will be a little bit slow. And uh, if you need a higher performance, then you need to go for a higher value. So it's done here. If I add a table now, and columns and also about the search functions but before to that if i click on the search function column here on the top ribbon under the column tools you just need to select here data category data category as image url then only it will work or else it will just show you as a link here if i click on that now you can see the values here for apply button it just gives a different value for butch khalifa it has given a different one and for india it has given a different search result for MS Dhoni, it's a kind of mixed reaction it has given up here. So the reason why it is showing everything as a cricket player is, is my mistake. If I click on this transform data and then if I look for this function, what I have done here inside to this, you will able to identify that. So if I go back to this here and in the first step, I have taken as here search for and then cricket player. I just need to avoid that and then click on OK. So now it will work. No issues with that and click on close and apply. It's good to investigate about how these things works here. And now let's see the result here.
yeah for apply now it's giving us apply now button option burj khalifa it's giving a correct image for india it's giving us taj mahal that's fine indian flag is indian flag and ms dhoni the red rose and for youtube it's giving a youtube logo here that's really cool right so this is how you can able to get the image dynamically using a bing search in azure portal and in power bi if you like this video just click on the big thumbs up button if you are new to this channel or if you haven't subscribed yet just click on the subscribe button and also press the bell icon to get the latest notifications but make sure you turn on the notification on your devices share it with your friends and colleagues if you have any queries and feedback just post it on the comment section below thanks for watching keep learning see you in the next video